What's up everybody? John here with another video for those of you that are interested in getting a job on board a cruise ship. Now this video is going to be kind of a direct piggyback off of the previous video that I posted a little while ago. Uh, and that one was all about different things that you could do uh, that would end up in you getting fired from your job on board a cruise ship. Now if you haven't watched that video yet, you don't necessarily need to do so to watch this one, but it's strongly recommended. So if you haven't already done it, just go over and click here, and then go check it out, and then as soon as you're done, come on back, and you can watch the rest of this video. Alright. Okay, so for those of you who have watched it, you may have realized that I left out something that seems pretty obvious. And that's correct. Yes, I did leave something out of it, and I do feel like I needed to have a specific video just for that topic, just so that you can see uh, how, how uh, serious that it is. And that is uh, drugs. Now, I left drugs out of the previous video, but I included drinking, I included, you know, destruction of property, I've included, you know, you, you'll see it on the video. Um, but I left out drugs because drugs are pretty, uh, also another one hit, you're done kind of uh, topic. Uh, the reason why I left it separate is because it, it's, it's a different environment. Like any job that you go to apply for, they will give you a drug test. The cruise lines are no different. You will need to take a drug test before you get hired uh, in order to pass your physical and your medical and everything like that. So if you're all clean for that, you're all good to go. You get your job, you go on the ship. Now the reason why it's kind of separate is because when you're working on a cruise ship, your uh, cruise ports, some of them, uh, some of these drugs are legal or they're easy to get because the people that live in those ports are willing to sell it to passengers because they know that the guests are going to be easily, like if you're going to be on a cruise to go to Jamaica, what do you want to do? Yeah, and there are plenty of people when you're walking the street in Jamaica that are going to offer you not only taxi cabs, not only getting your hair braided, but to have a little bit of the, uh, you know, the Mary Jane. So, I only want to put this out there is that, yeah, you take your drug test and you pass it, you get your job, but you're not out of the, out of the clear because when you're working on the ship, they do random drug tests all the time. Some cruise lines even have a drug test for every time you get back on from a certain port where they'll kind of wipe you down with a, uh, like a, a wand like they do at the airport. They'll check your fingers for any residue if you were doing any drugs. Um, or They'll have people, you know, check you when you come back on board, and then uh, they'll do random drug tests where, uh, for in instance, with, with me, they would give you every cruise, they would send an email to each department, and there was like two or three people on that email that needed to come down to the medical center for a random drug test. And most of the time it was just to like, kind of keep you going, keep you on your toes. Uh, it did catch a couple people sometimes. Um, and those people were done. You know, people get stupid and they forget, oh yeah, I can get in trouble for this. But that's the reason why I wanted to kind of make the drugs and the, uh, the wellness policy for the cruise ships a separate video because of the drug testing that happens in it. And if you are a person that you know that you like to do a little bit of uh, recreational drugs uh, or you know, you're excited to go to Jamaica because you can get you know, some marijuana, some weed, whatever you want to call it, uh, then maybe the cruise line job is not for you because you'd not only get uh, in trouble if you get caught and fired from your job, you'd also get in trouble when you come back to your home port, which would be in the U.S. Um, if you're going to the Jamaica, unless there's going to be a home port in Cuba or something. Uh, but you'll also run into that too. They do have dogs come on, especially in Miami. Dogs will come on the ship every, every cruise and just kind of check the guests. And guests get caught all the time because they, you know, forget they had it or they bring it on. They're not as strict maybe checking the guests when they're coming back on board. That's because they leave that for the uh, Customs and Border Patrol agents when they get to their home port. They take it very seriously and we've seen a lot of people get embarrassed just because they want to have a little bit extra fun in, in, uh, in, in Jamaica. But yeah, for a crew member, that is absolute no go. Like the drunk, you know, being drunk and having alcohol, there's a limit that you can do. You can have a drink as long as you're not visibly intoxicated or passing out or fighting with people. But with drugs, you get caught with drugs, you're around drugs in some cruise lines. If you even have residue on your hands, you are done. So don't be stupid. Um, and if you know that you are easily tempted by that kind of stuff, this is not going to be the job for you because you will be going to ports where it is thrown in your face as soon as you get off the ship. Like, oh man, I can give you this. You're a crew member. You probably want to relax. It's like, 
it's it's everywhere special some some ports it is everywhere it is extremely easy to get it is extremely easy to do um, but again use your judgment don't be stupid and if that's something that you feel like you might be getting uh, persuaded into doing then maybe you should reconsider and, and think of another another job that you're going to want to do because I don't want you getting in trouble and, and, and hit getting fined or, or losing your job or just being embarrassed because you want to have a little bit extra fun because, you know, YOLO or whatever your reasoning for it is. Um, just don't waste anybody's time. It's, it's not worth it. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to keep this as a separate video just to kind of give you a little my two cents of it. You're more than welcome, you know, to do what you do in your own home or when you're in your, your own state, city, country, whatever you want to, wherever you live. But when you come onto the cruise line, that's one of the things that they have a zero, zero tolerance for. Uh, and yeah, you don't want to be that. You don't want to be that guy or girl, uh, whoever, whoever will get in trouble because then, yeah, it's not good. So that's just for you. A little, little thing to keep in the back of your mind. Um, the drugs, the wellness policy, the fact that they do random drug tests all the time, especially if your itinerary goes to one of the ports that is known to attempt to sell people those things. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, I got a bunch of videos coming up soon, so make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, keep the comments coming, keep the ideas for videos coming too, because there may be something I didn't think of that somebody you wants to see and maybe other people want to see as well. Um, again, I got a lot of videos on their way, so stay tuned. Once again, I'm John. Uh, thanks for watching, and make sure to head on over to my Facebook channel, my Facebook page, it's a YouTube channel, uh, www.facebook.com slash John Gleason Comedy. If you have any questions, you want to directly get touch with me, send me a message through there or leave a comment below and we'll be all set. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.